In this lesson, I want to focus on the order of arithmetic operations in JavaScript. So in our last lesson, we saw how JavaScript can easily work with numbers to add, subtract, multiply, divide. We can raise to a power. We can even get a remainder from a division. But what happens when we have multiple operations in a row? Well, to understand this, we're going to look at a few basic examples. And I've already started a file for us. I've called it mathoperators2.js, and I've already opened a terminal. Now, what I want to do is just get an example going and explain how JavaScript is going to execute these statements. So let's say const result, and we'll set this equal to, let's do 20 divided by 10 times 5. So what's going to happen here? Well, a lot of you remember the order of operations for a math class. If you don't, it's okay. Basically, most people remember the acronym PEMDAS, right? It's please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, which means parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. If you go by the kind of letters in PEMDAS in that order, you're going to have a problem. The M and the D stand for multiplication and division, and they actually have the same priority level. It's a very common source of confusion. So what you have to do with M and D, since they're the same priority level, you work them left to right. The same thing goes for addition and subtraction. They're the same priority level. So the A and the S, okay, in the PEMDAS, same priority level, so they're worked left to right. So in this example here, we have 20 divided by 10 times 5. So you have division and you have multiplication. So this is worked left to right. So what's going to happen is the first thing that JavaScript's going to do, it's going to divide 20 by 10, and you're going to get 2, and so it will be 2 times 5 now. And the next thing it's going to do is it's going to multiply 2 times 5, and you're going to get 10. So if we console.log our result, we can see this really easily. And let's come down here and run this file. So I'm going to go node space math operators 2.js, and we do in fact get 10. Now, the problem comes with if you're not really paying attention and you're thinking that, again, with PEMDAS, M comes before D, so you're thinking that 10 is going to get multiplied by 5 first. If that happens, then the way it would be executed, you would think about 10 times 5 is 50, so you'd have 20 divided by 50, and that's going to give you 0.4. OK, but that's not going to happen because, again, the order of operations tells us multiplication and division are on the same step. They're worked left to right. If you wanted to do this operation first, you could wrap it in parentheses. And now you're giving it a higher priority level, OK, because the parentheses are going to be the highest priority level in the PEMDAS, right? Parentheses come first. So 10 times 5 is 50, and you have 20 divided by 50, which would give you 0.4. So if we run this now, we get 0.4. All right, so let's erase this example, and let's look at addition and subtraction real quick, and then I'll give you an example with kind of everything involved. So with addition and subtraction, let's go ahead and do something like 10 minus 20 plus 5. So again, when we look at this, addition and subtraction are on the same level of priority. So they're worked left to right. So the first thing JavaScript is going to do is it's going to do 10 minus 20, because that's the first operation on the left. And 10 minus 20 is negative 10. So we have negative 10 plus 5 now. And then negative 10 plus 5 is negative 5. So let's go ahead and run this real quick, and we'll prove that. And we do, in fact, get negative 5. OK, so let's look at this a different way now. Suppose you thought that the addition would be done first, right? If you're confused about PEMDAS, again, A comes before S, so it's a common source of confusion. So if we wrap this in parentheses, I'll just show you what would happen there. You would have 10 minus the result of 20 plus 5, which is 25. And then 10 minus 25 is negative 15. So now, because I wrapped it in parentheses, it will execute this first. So let's just clear this, and we'll see that we get negative 15 as a result. OK, so that's very straightforward. If you want to kind of look this up, you can go to Google and just search MDN operator precedence. It's going to go through everything, a lot of the stuff we haven't talked about yet. But if you look through here, you'll see that grouping is assigned a precedence of 21, which is the highest level, right? The table is ordered from highest 21 to lowest 1. So grouping or parentheses, it's going to give you the highest level. And then if we come down here, you have multiplication, division, and remainder. OK, so that's 15. They're all the same level. And you see how it says left to right. So if it's got something on the same level, it's worked left to right. Then below that, you have addition and subtraction. And that's worked left to right as well. And then I want to show you this really quickly. We talked about this already. 
The assignment is right to left, and you see that equal sign there. And there's all these other assignments that we're gonna get to later on. So I don't wanna get too far ahead of myself. Again, it's MDN space operator precedence if you want to go to that page. Now, let's just look at an example with kind of everything in it. So let's do 24 divided by, I'm gonna do negative three times two inside of parentheses, and then plus, I'm gonna raise three to the second power, so you can either do this like this, you can do math.pow, and you can do three comma two if you want, or you can use that exponentiation operator. It's just a double multiplication sign. So we'll do it both ways. It doesn't really matter, It'll execute the same. So right now, if I look at this, what's gonna happen? Let's kind of walk through this step by step. So we have parentheses, those have the highest priority. So the operation side of the parentheses is done first. Negative three times two is negative six. So you can have 24 divided by negative six, and then plus, you would have three squares. Let me just write this as three squared like this so it looks like something we can recognize. And then times your two. So the next highest priority is going to be the exponent, right? We don't have any parentheses, so now it's going to be the exponent. So I want to do three squared, so that's going to be nine. So we'd have 24 divided by negative six plus nine times two. Then the next highest priority, we only have division and addition and multiplication. So addition is the lowest priority. Your division and multiplication are the same level priority, and they'll work left to right. So we do 24 divided by negative 6 first. So you would have negative 4 from that, and then plus 9 times 2. So next we do the multiplication. 9 times 2 is 18. So you'd have negative 4 plus 18. And then lastly, we would do this addition. Negative 4 plus 18 is 14. So that's going to be the result of this guy. So we can clear this and then run it, and we do in fact get 14. So if that was a little fast for you, it's not that big of a deal. You need to understand how JavaScript executes things because there's gonna be a lot of scenarios where you're taking in values and you have to run a few different math operations on those values to get your result that you need. So let me give you a real world example. A lot of times when people are teaching this section, they'll talk about converting Fahrenheit to Celsius or Celsius to Fahrenheit. So I just wanna to go to a site called Rapid Tables, and I've already pulled this up. So I have Fahrenheit to Celsius, the formula. So basically, if you start with your temperature in Fahrenheit and you subtract away 32, so this is done inside the parentheses to make sure that this operation is done first, then you multiply the result by 5 ninths, you'll get your temperature in Celsius. So let's just copy this real quick, and let's go back to our editor. And I'm just gonna paste this right there to keep it as a reminder. And so again, if we wanna go from Fahrenheit to Celsius, let's start out with a const Fahrenheit. So F-A-H-R-E-N-H-E-I-T. You can never remember how to spell that. And then let's set this equal to 32 to start. We should know that 32 degrees Fahrenheit is zero degrees Celsius, right? And you can see that if you plugged in 32 here, 32 minus 32 is zero. Zero times anything is zero, so you would get zero. So if we go down here, let's say I wanted Celsius, so it's const Celsius, and I'm gonna set this equal to, again, I'm just gonna follow this formula. You have to make sure you wrap this in parentheses. So I'm gonna do the temperature in Fahrenheit, which I have represented with the Fahrenheit variable. So FAH, again, that's gonna autocomplete for me. Then minus 32, so that's done first. And then we're gonna multiply by five divided by nine, okay? so. I put the X there for multiplication. I meant to put this symbol here. Okay, so once we have this set up, we can see that JavaScript is going to evaluate Fahrenheit, whatever I have for that, minus 32 first, then it's gonna multiply by five, then it's gonna divide by nine, okay? So let's go ahead and see that this is going to give us a result of zero. So let's go ahead and do Celsius in here and see what we get. So we do in fact get zero. And you can play around with this and even put a little message in here if you want. You can just use some back ticks and say temperature or just temp in Celsius is dollar sign and then you're gonna put your Celsius. And that's a way that you can print a message to the console. Forgot my other back tick. And let's go ahead and run this real quick. And see so you get temp in Celsius is zero. And you can play around with this. Let's choose something like I don't know, a hot temperature, let's say 95, something like that. So clear, and run it, and you get temp in Celsius is 35, right? 95 minus 32 is 63. 
And then if I'm multiplying by 5 ninths, then really I could take 63 and divide by 9 and get 7, and then multiply by 5, and I'll get 35. So temp in Celsius is 35. Now, I'll leave it up to you to go back to rapid tables, and you can set something up similar to this and do Celsius to Fahrenheit.